Greetings, and salutations, you guys. Here and here, welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Because we're all doing fantastic. Excuse the mess behind me, but it is like literally the middle of the night. Um, it is 2:41 a.m. and I'm filming this haul. Uh, my okay, okay, so my brother and my sister and my cousin and I we just finished watching um, The Last of Us. That's what it is, The Last of Us. And then, but my sister has to, had to go to bed because she has to wake up early tomorrow because she's volunteering at uh, my nephew's school. And then John, I mean, my cousin and I, we watched the new Teen Wolf movie. So let me know down below in the comments if you guys have watched the new Teen Wolf movie because I want to know what you guys thought and if you guys liked it and if you guys watched it. So comment down below. Um, I enjoyed it. I felt like it harkened back to those days of Teen Wolf. <laughs> and, and it was just fun. And, uh, but today... I have a really great thrift haul for you guys and unfortunately I didn't film today because it was raining and I didn't want to bring out my camera with me while I went out thrifting um, so I did do, like take photos and videos on my phone all that stuff will be on Instagram and TikTok so follow me there I have linked down below in the description box and yeah, so I'm just going to show you guys what I got. I got some really great stuff and a lot of this stuff will also be for sale in the next upcoming live sale, which I believe is actually going to be today when you guys see this video. So um, it's going to be Monday, January 30th and that is going to be, okay, I don't know what time, but I'm going to have it just right here for you guys to see and I'm going to have it linked right there and down below in the description box if you guys want to turn on notifications. And if you're watching this video after that live has already happened or you can't make it to the live, you can always watch the replay. I'll leave that up for you guys to check out and then you can check the description box. Items availability and pricing will be there and the items I'm going to have for sale there are actually going to be more than what I'm showing you guys here. So um, yeah, let's just jump into it. I got some really fun stuff and I can't even remember exactly what it is I purchase anymore at this point but oh okay let me start off with this because one of the reasons that I'm having a sale on this Monday <laughs> is I'm raising funds um, to purchase a bag from the Loewe uh, Howells Moving Castle collaboration which is going to be available uh, within the next few upcoming days uh, so I'm really really excited but I need some money to pay for a bag um, and I have this super cute bag for you guys and it is actually it's not Howl's Moving Castle but it is a Miyazaki movie and they actually did a collaboration with Loewe for this movie a few years ago this is Totoro my neighbor Totoro there he is right there this is a little cat bus there's the little girls in the movie and the little soot sprites um, Okay, this was a little pricey at $40, but totally worth it. Uh, I think this bag retails for, oh, I don't even remember, um, like uh, around 100 or more, so, uh, maybe 120 something like that, dollars. But the best thing about it is that the eyes light up. Isn't that so cute? Just like in the movie, because the, mo the cat's eyes, uh, the cat bus's eyes light up in the movie, and it's so stinking cute, and I just thought that was so cool so i love it this bag is adorable it's in fantastic condition and yeah little totoro on the side um and this is like an official um totoro miyazaki backpack very exciting so this is the first item so stinking cute oh my gosh i love it and then for myself <laughs> um i got I was gonna sell these, but I was like, you know what, I've always wanted like the platform Crocs and I wanted them preferably in black um, But I kind of like the lavender. These were $28 from Crossroads and oh my gosh, yes <laughs> And then when I get tired of the color of purple, I can always just dye them black. I've seen um, quite a few tutorials for how to dye these so, when I'm tired of the color, I can just dye them another color. I was thinking, like, I can do, like, an ombre first, maybe. Like, an ombre from um, this lavender to a black, and then eventually just all black. I don't know. I haven't decided. But for right now, at least for the time being, these will just be this color. They're actually so comfy. I cannot. These are so amazing. I'm very excited about these. <laughs> that Those are those. Platform Crocs. Like, they're changing my life. 
okay? I remember when Crocs first came out and I hated them. And now I hate myself for hating them because I did not know the comfort of Crocs until now and they are amazing. Uh, next up, I got this beautiful vase and uh, this one is a, what brand was this again? Oh, Waterford. This is a Waterford crystal vase. Oh, you can hear it singing. I, and I just noticed this now when I saw this and I didn't notice that it was actually, um, it has like an inscription on it. And it says to Jane and Bruce from, I think it says Ram and it was Christmas 1987. That's so cool, this is from so long ago. So that was pretty cool and it's in fantastic condition. Um, so thank you so much um, to Ram for this. And now we'll have it here. Uh, my mom will probably propagate some plants in here because she's been obsessed with propagating plants recently. So mom, that's for you. Then up next, let's do this. I'm just gonna go randomly. This is like in no particular order or anything. This is a beautiful Tory Burch wallet. It's in this like cream tan, well it's like a cream, right? Like a cream color, a uh, soft yano leather and it has this beautiful floral design on it. It's so stinking cute. And this is like some like raffia or natural fiber or something that's kind of like stitched through to make the flowers. It has light gold hardware. This was $47.50, it's a little expensive, but this wallet has, um, is like brand new. And the resale for this wallet is around like eight, like $85 to $120 depending on condition. And this one is in impeccable shape and it is a really fun wallet it reminds me of um like artisans in the philippines do a, fam a similar technique on things too like this so it just reminds me of that so i really liked it and had to get it there's that beautiful wallet uh then up next i don't know if i ever did an unboxing for this or anything so i'm going to show it now but i do have this beautiful this is brand new with tags. Um, Coach Pillow Tabby. And it's in the ombre blue to green with silver hardware. And it is like brand spanking new. It still has all the wrapping and packaging on the inside. It also does come with a dust bag. And top handle, it has the little... Oh, wait, hold on. Am I missing the little... Am I missing the tag? Did it always have the tag missing? Hold on a second. This is crazy. Is it hidden away inside of here? Was it always missing the little tag? I feel like it wasn't always missing. I feel like it had it. Is it inside this zipper pocket? <gasps> Where'd it go? This is a mystery. I could have sworn it had it, but maybe it never did. I'm trying to see it. Okay, like I took a picture of it when I first got it. Oh. I guess it didn't have the little thing. Okay. Yeah, so I guess it never had it. But it's okay. It's still really cute, and that's all that matters. This is how it looks on. It's like the color is unreal. It's so beautiful. And I am obsessed. Such a cute bag. Then you just carry it with the top handle like this. I love the size. This is the Pillow 26. And then you can also just carry it on your shoulder as well. And it is super duper cute. All right, then up next, I have this beautiful Madewell kind of like camera style bag. And this is just in their gorgeous, gorgeous leather. Um, I, I love the leather that they use for Madewell bags. They just age and patina beautifully over time. And this already has a little bit of like those love marks on it and it is looking really, really good. I love the golden tan brown color too. It's my favorite. This one was $20. We have the crossbody strap right here. Interior also is unlined. So that's what the interior looks like. That means you probably could dunk this bag uh, like how you can dunk vintage uh, coach bags in water and then soap and clean it up and then condition it so you can very well do the same with this bag but you don't need to at this point in its life because it still looks fantastic and i really like 
this like camera like boxy shaped style bag i think it's really great and it's a really really good size too perfect for every day and i love this color brown like it's my favorite i think i have the most bags in this color and i just think it's such a nice pop but it's neutral and goes with everything and i love it so there's that up next i had to get this this is a Dooney and Burke sunflower tote. And this is in a beautiful canvas with printed sunflower design. It's also the same um, print on the back as well, which has a large zipper pocket. The bottom is in suede. And then the top handles and the trim are in like a, are in a vachetta. And then the interior is just in this beautiful bright red lining. Um, the interior is in pretty much immaculate condition with the exception of this right here. I think this is from the sticker that comes with the bag. Dooney and Burke put stickers in their bags with like the model and stuff like information about the bag on there. So I think that's what that is. So I think I can just clean it off. So I'm going to try and do that later on. But the bag is in really great shape. It just has like minor rubbing on the suede on the bottom. I'm going to try to clean it up. Um, I'm going to first use an eraser to try to get out as much of the dirt and stuff that's in the corners. And then um, possibly a suede cleaner, like some sort of foaming cleanser. And then another thing that you can do too is that you can um, use a, what's it, like a sandpaper to kind of like use that to clean it off too. So there's a couple different options we can do with this. Um, there's also minor kind of like watermarks on there. But nothing crazy. I think that's the only little section. It's just like right here where there's like a little bit of like a watermark. So doesn't it remind you of Under the Tuscan Sun? If you guys ever watched that movie, also let me know down below in the comments. That's one of mine and mom's favorite movies. And especially one of our favorite movies to watch together. Mom and I like to watch those kind of like romantic comedies together. Um, because we just love to laugh and watch them. And it's like one of our favorite things to do. Um, whenever I cut her hair, like um, every few weeks I cut and dye her hair and then we watch some sort of like romantic comedy and it's funny because we only have like certain certain movies that we will watch over and over and over and so it's Under the Tuscan Sun. Sorry I'm telling you guys this. You probably just don't even care um, but I'm going to tell you guys anyway so let me know if you guys watch any of these movies. So it's Under the Tuscan Sun, um, First Wives Club. I know it's not like a romantic comedy but it's a comedy and it's hilarious. Wedding Planner. My Best Friend's Wedding, Notting Hill, Because I Said So, Something's Gotta Give. You can also see kind of like a like a lot of the same actors and actresses are in these movies too, which is really funny. Uh, and those are all that I can think of off the top of my head, but movies like that are our favorites. Up next, we have this beautiful Marc Jacobs satchel. And I really like it because it's like a uh, color blocked and it's kind of like an ivory color and then black and then tan and then brown so it has like four different colors it has a little lock and key charm right here i don't think yeah the the charm doesn't actually like unlock or anything and it doesn't actually come off so it's just purely decorative there's a nice front pocket right there that's the bottom there's the back you have the top handle across body strap is removable and adjustable and the interior is interesting because the middle is divided by a zipper pocket, but it kind of is diagonal. So it kind of like cuts the interior to like two pizza shaped triangles um, into isosceles triangles, right? Isosceles. And there's the interior it has like this really fun Marc Jacobs printed monogram inside. And it's all like leather lined in the interior with the exception of the pocket right here. This is in fabric. And in the fabric pocket, uh, oh, it's just open. So there's no other pockets inside of here other than this middle compartment. And yeah, this one was only $20. It was a deal. Very excited about this one. This one's really, really cute. Just needs a little bit of a cleaning and conditioning. The corners are in pretty good shape. There's like a little spot right there. I'm hoping I can just get that out. There's also uh, a, like a black mark like right there. So sometimes you kind of like those things that are um, that they see at the store because they're like, oh, it's like stained or damaged. And sometimes it honestly just needs a little bit of a cleaning and then it's good to go. So I'm, I'm thankful for those because the prices at thrift stores, uh, buy, sell, trade stores, and places like that have just been skyrocketing. Um, but generally, bags that have a little bit more wear or like some marks or stains or whatever um, will be marked lower. 
So just a little bit of elbow grease can help get you a really good deal. And yeah, love it. And if you guys are interested in handbag repair videos and all that stuff, I have a ton of videos. I have dozens of videos for how to clean, condition, um, re-dye, repaint, color match your leather goods. So you can check that out. I have the playlist down below in the description box for you guys to see. Um, I'm, I am also going to be filming more. I actually just filmed a bunch of like reels and TikToks for cleaning and dyeing and stuff for bags. So you'll be seeing that if you go check out my TikTok and Instagram. Again, down below in the description box. All right, up next, let's continue. Oh, okay, this is very exciting for me because I have always wanted a Loewe shirt but they are so expensive, but I finally found one. And I hope it fits. Um, this is the Loewe Dumbo shirt, and it's so cute. I love when Loewe does cute collabs. Dumbo is also one of my f most favorite childhood movies. So there he is flying right there. And then on the back, it just says Loewe. And this was $47.50. Very exciting. Made in Portugal and all that good stuff. Um, I think it'll fit me. Ow, I poked myself with the tag. But, I don't know, we'll see. I hope it does. And it's in this, like, light pink color, which, honestly, I don't mind. It'll go with, it could go with my, um, pastel purple, uh, Crocs. I was gonna say Uggs. Okay, then, oh, let me just show you all the clothing pieces that I got. Then I just got this, uh, random hoodie. It's by... Um, L.L. Bean, and it was $10. It was $9.49. It's just an extra large gray hoodie that um, I've just been kind of collecting hoodies and sweaters and stuff. I don't know. Um, this past winter has just been so cold, <laughs> and I donated a lot of my sweaters and stuff um, last year, and yeah, I was like, I don't have anything warm to wear anymore. So I've just been buying a lot of hoodies, sweaters, jackets, and I'm pretty excited about this one. And I just love like the oversized. And this one isn't really too oversized, but I just got this one too. It's fantastic. I love the color on this. This was like a color of um, sweatshirt that I've been looking for. And I'm so glad that I finally found one. So I don't think I ever did a haul on this one. So I guess here it is. I also did get this sweater. I also got these pants from the same store. So these are um, Lululemon. And I think uh, this hoodie is Pangaea, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not sure, but fantastic. I got these both from uh, Veterans Thrift. So yeah, Lululemon. I love it. I actually have these same Lululemon pants in, I think they're almost the same green. They might be a little darker, but they're a larger, they were like an extra large or something. And they were kind of like, they were super comfy. I still wear them too. But these are, I think these are actually my size, I think. Up next. Oh, I got, okay, these were really, really cool. These are Thom Brown shorts. And I've always wanted like some sort of Thom Brown article of clothing. And I have these now. I hope, I, I don't know if these will fit me. I don't even know what size these are. They're supposed to be a size... Hadrian doesn't know because it doesn't say. It just says made in Japan. It doesn't say anywhere, I think, what size these are. But they're just, they're elastic. So I'm hoping that they fit. We'll cross our fingers. Oh, it's dry clean or hand wash. <gasps> I have a feeling that they might have put these in like the washing machine or something and they might have like shrunk a little bit, but I'm not 100% certain. But they're really cool, I hope they fit. Um, these were $17.99. Some sunglasses. Okay, I got these Ray-Bans, and these were $45. Um, they're pretty cool, because they're actually like mirrored too, I think. And I these are, I believe these are the largest aviator size that they sell. 30, 25, yeah, these are. Yeah, they're the 62s, 62 millimeters. So yeah, these are the largest Ray-Ban aviator size that Ray-Ban makes. And I actually really like these. But I think I'm actually going to um, give these to my aunt because she's looking for aviators, like Ray-Bans for my, I don't know if it's for my uncle or for her brother, but regardless, I uh, got these. They're fantastic. Um, $45. 
really, really cute. So I'm very excited about those. And then the other pair of sunglasses that I got, these are almost the same price. These are $42.99. Uh, these are Gucci sunglasses, and they are in like this tortoise shell, and then it has like an ombre gray, and then the bottom part of the frame is clear, and they have a nose piece, which is fantastic, because, um, oh, these are kind of nice. Should I keep these? No, I should sell these. I probably won't wear these too often, or will I? Okay, we'll just put them in the sale and see what happens. Um, but yeah, these were $42.99. So stinking cute, and they're in pretty great shape, like very minimal marks on the lenses, and I do love a good tortoiseshell. The reason I want to keep these is like, I don't think I have any sunglasses in this like a bright of a tortoiseshell color. Um, this is almost like a golden -y yellow color, and I normally have them on the darker side of the tortoise color. Uh, then up next, got a little coach bag right here. This one is beautiful. So here it is. This is a black coach satchel and it's a flat bag. It has like this cool buckle. It has these like um, studs all around. It like goes all around the bag. Crossbody strap is the nice and thick ones and you can like reuse these on other bags too and it's amazing. I also really like the hardware on the side and this just pops up like this and here is the interior. It's in this like nice microfiber lining there's a middle zipper back pocket right there um this one was 95 dollars so it was a little pricey but these bags are expensive and even if i have to like sell this at a higher price it's still gonna be a good deal for you guys and even if you wanted to resell it you probably still could make money off of it too so but this is just a really beautiful bag and it's a good size too. And the strap is adjustable so you can make this longer. I think this might be, yeah, I think this is the shortest that it goes. But look at that bag. Like, it's really nice, right? I love all the details. This is a Tory Burch. I think this is the Lee Radziwill um, small or mini satchel tote. And this is in a, like, a cream and black gingham. And then it has golden brown leather trim and gold hardware. I'm obsessed with this bag. It's This is in canvas, like a fabric, and then leather trim. Um, there's like this belted detail. This actually opens up too. So you can actually pull this open and it'll kind of like help expand the bag a little bit. Um, and then when you do that, you can actually get into this front pocket. And then there's also a back pocket right there. And this is the middle compartment right here. It has a separated, it's separated by a piece of fabric. There's two interior built-in card slots. This actually snaps shut across the top too. So you can actually um, shut the bag and like this whole, like, like that middle portion is like closed up. And you can just snap like the middle part closed so you don't have to like snap all of them. And then it's pretty much like no one's hands are gonna get in there uh, unless you unsnap it. So, it's such a cute bag, though. I'm going to have to show you guys this one on, also. Strap, also removable and adjustable. And this is how it looks on. It's so cute. Right? It's kind of like a Burke and Kelly version from Tory Burch. And these bags are so expensive. Like, I think this bag retails, like, over 600 or more dollars. So... Uh, 150 was a deal and then even when I resell it if you buy it you can also resell it and still make a good amount of money too I know a lot of you guys also resell that um, buy my bags I always try to get them as best of a price as possible and price them as best as I can for you guys also but that one is in like new condition it's fantastic and the gingham perfection and that color combo is good for like all year um, okay, then up next, this is another one of my favorites. This one was so expensive though, for <laughs> $2.50, but this Kate Spade is gorgeous. So, it is this beautiful Kate Spade, um, I want to say it's like a tapestry bag, right? But it looks like it's like been sewn, like hand-stitched or whatever, and it has like this gold Kate Spade buckle, 
There's a back pocket right here. You can wear this one as a crossbody like that. You can adjust it. This is the shortest that it goes, so it does definitely go. I really like this length though for the bag, but it's beautiful. And you can also double up the strap. And then you have a little shoulder bag, which is really nice and it's super cute. And then this pops up. The inside is in a super beautiful, soft microfiber lining. There's a front pocket and then there's another pocket inside there and then a zipper pocket in the back. And this bag is in like new condition. It has a magnetic snap closure. <laughs> I'm like, come on. Okay, there it goes. Magnetic snap. There's the bottom. There's the back. But yeah, it's such a nice bag though. I am kind of obsessed with how cute it is. I love it. I love it. It kind of gives me the vibe of, you know that, um, that Fendi baguette and you can buy it and it, it, you like stitch in like you, what is it called? Like needlepoint your own design into it. And I just, it kind of gives me that vibe, but it's already done for you and it's gorgeous. Like who, this is beautiful. I love the flowers. I'm actually going to show this to mom. She's going to be like, <gasps> She might steal it. <laughs> um, maybe I'll show it in the live first to see if anyone's interested in it. And then I'll show it to mom and see if she likes it. But yeah, it's so cute. Okay, now this is my last item that I'm going to share with you guys right now. But it's really good. It's so cute. Um, this one, I did not expect to see this at the store. Because this one is still actually being sold online. Um, and it's the Balenciaga. I think it's called Ville. My, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I, I don't even remember if I'm, if that's the name, but I think that's what it is. Um, like it's like the domed satchel. This isn't the small. So there's a size that's even smaller than this one, which is like teeny tiny. But this, I feel like this one's the perfect size. Um, this fits like your cell phone, like can stand up inside of here. And then like, that's perfect. But there's also a back pocket and your cell phone can just fit inside of there. Also just perfectly. And you can even have it just laying down back there. So it's amazing. And it has the top handles. It has the crossbody strap, which is really nice too. So you can wear this one crossbody. Yeah, chic. I was thinking about keeping this one um, in my collection because it's so cool and I don't have anything like this. I don't have like any dome satchels in my um, collection of bags at all, but it is in this black like pebbled leather. Um, it's a nice thick leather too, so this will hold its shape. Um, it's kind of like in between like a soft yano feel and like a regular um, calf hair, pebbled calf hair leather. It also does have little feet, which is awesome. Um, the interior looks like this. There's a interior zipper pocket and then just an open pocket underneath. And it's partially fabric, partially leather. And it is so Thinking cute. It also has this little lock too. Little lock detail on the end of the zipper and then the little key is in this little clochette. I think I actually might move that over. But this is our bag. It is so stinking cute. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite item was that um, I showed you guys today. Uh, comment down below too if you guys have found anything cool recently because I always love hearing about your finds as well. And again, tune in later today for the live sale. I'll have the link down below in the description box and I'll also have it linked right here in the little links that you can put up there for videos. And again, if you can't watch it um, during the live, you can always catch the replay. Tune in tomorrow right early at 7 a.m. for a new video. And I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right, bye guys.